Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video on next generation sequencing data analysis. Um, in this video, we'll discuss the first um, basically tool that you can use to um, compare your reads to a reference genome. Um, we'll go, we're going to use um, imgt.org. This is a web tool, actually. So you do not download this. You don't, you don't install this on your, um, on your computer, but instead you upload your file onto uh, this website. Um, so what do you do first? First, you can go to imgt.org.com, uh, sorry, imgt.org, and you see here it says, you know, this, this thing consists of sequence databases, genome databases, structure databases, a lot of databases. And you can use these databases. Um, the most primitive way to use this database is by going down here, IMGT tools, and you just use the IMGT vQuest. This is a sequence alignment soft for um, immunoglobulins and uh, T cell receptors. And um, this one is a very primitive one, meaning that basically you just choose, you know, what are you doing? You're looking, you don't look at IGs, you look, we're looking at T cell receptors. And um, we are going to look now on uh, in human T cell receptors, because that's the FASTQ file that we downloaded um, in the previous uh, videos we discussed. We downloaded it from the SRA repository, if you remember. Now, here you can submit your sequences. Um, you can do this manually by just typing. For instance, uh, you have to, it has to be in FASTA format, it says. So the FASTA format we discussed, I think, in the second video. Uh, and this, this means, you know, you have to type it like this. You have to give it an identifier. So just any name. Um, and then the next row has to be the sequence. And you could do this with several sequences. So blah, blah, blah. This is a sequence. And, um, then this is name two, and this is another sequence. You can do this for several at once. You could even down uh, upload a file that just contains all of these, but it's limited. I don't know how, by how many um, sequences you can upload uh, onto this V uh, quest, but it's not many because they have a V high quest where you can actually upload uh, up to 500,000 uh, reads, if I remember correctly. But we'll, we just want to try this one out quickly. And you can try this out by, um, I'm opening up my terminal now, CTRL Alt T. Um, and I'm going to go to where my sequence is, uh, where my FASTQ file is located. If you remember, um, it's in this folder here. So it should be correctly. Yeah. Um, this one here, this is the original file. And we did quality control on it. And then we trimmed it. And it came out to be this file here. We're going to use this now. I'll open that, um, uh, sorry, I, I won't open it up. I'll just use the head command to display the first 10 rows of uh, of this file. And by the way, the 10 first rows, uh, obviously here you have more rows uh, than than 10. And the reason for that is that just because, you know, you have here the, the terminal is not long enough, is not wide enough, so it just breaks the line as soon as it reaches the end of this of this terminal. If you would open this with a text editor, you would probably have to scroll all the way because each sequence has only four lines and not this many. So this is actually 10, 10 lines in the actual file. Okay, so we take this, we copy it. You have to copy with right click if you're in a terminal. And here you can just paste it. Don't forget the identifier name or whatever. You can name it whatever you like. And we will now start. So this is gonna align and it's done. The number of analyzed sequences is just one and here's your sequence and here's the results summary where it says this is an unproductive TCR beta chain. Why is it unproductive? Because of a stop codon. So in vivo, so in the patient or in the mouse or whatever, so we have a human human sample here in the patient, this particular sequence would never actually make it into an actual, um, onto an actual T cell because this would never make a functioning protein Somewhere here, there will be a stop codon, and this will interrupt the translation of this protein. This is what is meant with unproductive. But it also means that the sequence in general does code for TCR beta chain. So we're not, we're not off at all. Uh, if this would be something entirely different, it would say no result. This could happen as well. Now we have, you know, about 300,000 reads in this FASTQ file. And we can now copy and paste every single line into this, uh, you know, into this text field and have a look. Oh, is it productive? Is it unproductive? Let's go through all of this information and have a look. What does the CDR3 region? This is a specific region on, uh, on, on T cells, um, a very important region. You know, uh, what does it say here? Uh, now for, uh, for this kind of job, you use the 
IMGT High VQuest, which is right underneath there. IMGT High VQuest. For this, however, you do you do need to make an account. Um, so you just make a new user, and we'll do. I'll do that quickly. I filled out, and then uh, you know you guys do this by yourself. Once you fill out everything, and um, don't forget, you have to fill out correctly because this is not just a you know link they will send you to activate your account. You will actually they will actually look at what you ha what you wrote there because you have to give a PI's name and institution's name. So that they will actually check, and then they will activate your account. So I'll now log in with my account. I'm just gonna um, uh, do that quickly here. So I'll type in my email, press the login, and then your your um, yeah on the next page. So on this page now. This right here, the IMGT High VQuest search page, is where you will upload your um, your files. Uh, for this now, you have to give it an analysis title. So just you know, give your sample file name. For example, you know this is let's say TCR beta <clears throat> from the SRA, whatever, and you uh, choose which species it is. This is human. And also, if you know the locus of what you're looking at, and we know it's a TCR beta. Locus. Um, you can also just you know leave this one for example the way it is. You browse for your file. If you remember, it's for me it's home and CPI public SRA, and it's this fast queue file. Now I have a problem. Unfortunately, you can't uh, upload a fast queue file onto IMGT. It has to be in FASTA format. So there's a separate video on how to convert your fast queue file to FASTA. But we'll discuss it here anyway. So you use a, you use a um, toolkit called Fa uh, FastX Toolkit. Um, here's how you can install it as well. You can go to um, actually you don't even need to install it from here. You can just open up a terminal, and now you you can you can do the sudo app get. You just need to find out the name of 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 of, of this thing on on how it's called in this repository. So for this, I go command line usage and I try to find. How to, for example, do the fast queue conversion? Here you go. Um, I try to type it in. It's obviously not installed, so it's going to give me an error message. But usually, if you try a command and it's not installed, it's going to tell you uh, from what kit it is. So we do that. There you go. See, the, it's not currently installed. You can install it by typing, and well, that's what we're going to do. So just sudo apt. Uh, I don't know. sudo apt get will type install fastx toolkit. You have to type in your administrative password. And yes, I want to install this. Thank you. Okay. Once it's done, which is it now, which it is now, you can run this command. So now it should be fast queue. If I press tab now, it should fulfill it, auto fulfill it. It doesn't. Oh no, there you go. It gives you all of the different um, possibilities. We want fast queue to faster. And uh, we should do this in the folder where our FASTA file is, a uh, FASTQ file is, I'm sorry, and where we want our FASTA file. We want to convert this file into FASTA. We do this now. Uh, we do FASTQ to FASTA, and we do it according to this uh, setup right here. We don't need this helpful screen. Um, we don't really need to rename sequence identifiers. I literally just want to convert it. So I think you can just choose the in file, but for that you have to type i minus i. This is the in file. I read this. Uh, I get that from this particular area here. Um, fastq input file. It's called srq10, but I don't want to type it all out. So I just give it a wildcard and an output file minus o, and this will be our sr q10.fasta press enter that should do the trick now let's head our new fasta file there you go it's a different format now you see how there's just this one identifier and then the sequence Ooh, next identifier then the sequence every sequence only has two um two lines compared to the fast q file Q file, which has a lot of different information in it as well. Now this we can upload onto High Request, and that's what we're gonna do. We choose Browse and find our sequence again. Uh, 
Um, I usually click, uh, you know, don't need to send me an email when the analysis is complete. And uh, also I don't need the individual results files because this just makes the whole thing, the whole file very, very large, very big. Obviously, if you're interested in all of this, which uh, you might be, actually, let's just keep it. We can look into it anyway. But usually you don't have to get everything if you're not interested in it. Press start and it's going to now upload this FASTA file. This might take a while and this is why I, I don't like IMGT. I mean, they're really nice. It's a really cool system, but um, there are better ways to align your sequences. And this is what we're going to do in the next videos. I'll show you different ways on how to do this for TCRs, but also for other genomes, for other uh, low key that you that you might that you might want to look at. So see, I already pressed start. I press it again. Sometimes it works when you press it twice. Um, and you just wait until you reach the next the next site. The next site should go into analysis history. OK. So once uh, it's done and it loaded the next page, you're now in analysis history. And these are all the files that I have uploaded here. You don't need to know what these are, but right at the very top, there's our sequence. There's our FASTQ, uh, FASTA file, I mean. And it tells you here how many sequences there are inside of this. And it says it's queued. And this was a submission date. And what it also means is that this might take some time. So this might take um you know this might take just a few days it all might also take a few weeks it always depends on how busy the imgt servers are and for this reason there are other alternatives that you can use as well and we'll discuss some of them in the other videos so you can maybe uh, align your sequences on your machine yourself and that obviously saves a lot of time you don't have to upload anything you can just uh, have it on your own computer, which makes it easy to include into a bioinformatical pipeline. And you can learn how to script and code a bioinformatical pipeline at nextgenerationsequencinghq.com. You can take a course there and learn how you can automate all of the stuff that we do here in one script and one program, and then use it to, um, you know, to always analyze the data in your lab in that way. So go ahead and visit nextgenerationsequencinghq.com. Uh, and watch the other vis videos, uh, watch the next ones after this one and the previous ones if you haven't to learn how to do bioinformatical uh, data analysis. All right then, until the next video.